<laughs> it's interesting. We started with no money. We have a custom-made product, so we asked for the money up front from the customer. We paid the lab that was doing our manufacturing, and we made money from day one. Zero startup. Actually, I didn't have any money. Um, I was teaching high school English. My husband was about to student teach for high school math. So we started doing this as a side job to actually raise money. So we started freelance writing and editing, um, solving math problems in textbooks. And then I saw that I was really good at managing all the different people on the projects. Um, so we actually had no money and just started as a side job and then when I decided to start it up as a business um, for real, I was doing it out of my home so I had no overhead. Uh, my biggest challenge starting up was figuring out what exact business line to get into. I wasn't sure yet, I knew I wanted to do something in the book business but I wanted to find something profitable and that was kind of a hard area to figure out. You know, our biggest challenge uh, was a little bit after startup was uh, when we found out uh, that we were going to have an opportunity to bid on the Medicare program. Uh, the next day I woke up and realized I had about 60 days to raise as much as $400 million in, in capital and I was only a $200 million company. Uh, my biggest challenge was just overcoming my own fear. I really still wanted to be in the classroom. We had kids, so we were trying to figure out daycare. So those are, it was personal life, work balance um, challenges that I had more than anything. When we decided to do all of our own manufacturing, that was the biggest challenge we ever faced was starting a custom monitor lab from scratch. We had no idea what we were doing.